Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I've been putting off playing the Indian restaurant. I f <laughs> it is so ridiculously fast paced and I'm not even sure how I managed to get three stars on all 40 levels and now I look back at it. I haven't played it for ages and I tried to practice it just to get at least be able to show you a decent version of me playing it but it's just um I'm just not I'm just not gonna get up to scratch in time to get this video up today <laughs> but um it is really ridiculous okay so let's get into it so as you can see I've upgraded um 95% on my kitchen upgrades and 83% on my interior upgrades now with the interior Another thing about the Indian restaurant is the cost of upgrading is just um, expensive as well. You have to you have to use so many gems. So the things I have left that I didn't upgrade was the this carpet on the wall, twenty seven gems. I mean, and then for that you want extra clients. Now when you get to level forty and you see how much is going on you do not want extra clients that's the last thing that you want well that's the last thing i want anyway because um i'm not managing at the moment since playing this again after so long i'm not managing to be able to serve all my customers i've like i just played it and i lost seven customers um because i didn't serve them in time this sculpture 20 gems now this will give you an extra tip amount increased so I think that sometimes you are making all the money, but you're just not serving all the customers. So it's, you know, you've got to weigh up whether you want to spend 20 gems for tip amount increased. I think the best way at this sort of stage, the best way to, um, so my cat was just trying to get underneath the city. Um, the best way to handle things at this stage if you've got things to upgrade and things are busy you want to extend the customer waiting time none of these things that I've got left to upgrade offer that let's just have a look tip amount no because the customers don't wait long either so that's the thing those are the things I didn't upgrade everything else I've managed to upgrade the curtains tables you know as I said you've always got to upgrade your tables anywhere so the customers can sit and eat, obviously. So the kitchen now, I upgraded more in there. So let's just see what's upgraded and what isn't. I think when I did the sushi restaurant video, I forgot to show you all my upgrades, but the sushi restaurant was 100% upgraded on both areas. And it was, and it's really a joy to play. I really like the sushi restaurant. I actually was playing it yesterday after my um, video oh my god I've just come out of it bear with me back to the kitchen and I think with the Indian restaurant as well you need to be really prepared like you need to try and prepare everything as much as you can but that, even that's really hard okay I only didn't I upgraded everything except for this Kulafi, Kulafi, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. So, I mean, in order to help things along, I think it's really important um, at this stage, if you're having a problem, is to use these coal fees, but refill them if you don't want to upgrade to 20, um, if you don't want to use 20 gems to upgrade. Although if you use 20 gems to upgrade, your price per portion shoots up to 60, which is just under double the price per portion so you know you have to weigh it up really um but i don't have enough gems to use my refills because i'm sure this would help really help boost me getting everything done okay let's get into the gameplay so level 40 so i think a lot of practice is needed on here so what I've decided to do is try and organise things 
by putting out um, the bases. And what's really distracting as well is these they, so many soups and cups of teas as well, which distracts you from the actual cooking of the um, meals. Move that forward. And that can go on. See, they're getting unhappy already. And, you know, it's lots of, and it's really complicated, all the little bits and bobs. It's very fiddly, all the bits and bobs that you have to do. Those, the cups always look like teas at the side of my eye as well. Because, you know, I'm just glancing at the side the corner of my eye to see what to dish out. And I always get the teas and soups mixed up. And you really need to clear down your uh, money because um, if you don't, you know, you, you just won't serve all the customers in time. So you really have to keep up with things. Put these on. Oh my God. So you're getting fed up very quickly. See, three customers unserved. Lost six customers. I didn't even notice the six that I lost, to be honest. So very tricky, as you can see. I'll give it another whirl and let's see how I get on. Play. But I'm determined to get improve, even though I've done all levels for three stars. Um, that competitive streak in me, I just want to be able to go back and do it and get three stars. I doubt I'll do it this time, but um, I will be practicing here and there. And then once I get to do it, I'll probably do another video. Okay. See, I'm getting all in a kerfuffle already. Soup, soup, that, that one. Hey, I forgot the carrots. Oh, help! I'm probably going to lose that customer. Yeah. See, go on, off you go. See, if I would have those coffee things, I could ease it all up a little bit, but. Don't have enough. Right, that's tea and soup. All these cups of tea as well are irritating. Now, who drinks that much tea? Right, I'm kind of looking at the side of my eye at these orders. Cause there's so many. Right, I've overlooked that one. That one wrong. Soup, soup, so much soup. Right, that needs to go on. That can go to you. Let's go 
God, this is killing me. Soup, tea. See, rubbish, 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 rubbish. I only got two stars again. See, frustrating. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Oh, deep breaths, count to ten. Right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video, although it was a struggle and that's probably my hardest, the hardest restaurant, well, I find it the hardest. If you play Cooking Viva, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite, which one is your worst restaurant, which one do you find the hardest and get in a panic with and find it hard to pass the levels. Okay, until next tomorrow's video, um, I also, I've got the Barcelona restaurant to play. I haven't, I've done a couple of levels last night actually, I haven't actually started it. So I did a couple of levels last night and I think, because um, I'm coming to the end of the city restaurants, playing them at, 40, at level 40. So I'm going to finish off playing level 40 at the rest of the restaurant. I think I've got like one or two left. I've got the breakfast cafe left. I'm not sure if I've got another one left. And then I will play the Barcelona on each level. Also, I have done some work on the Paradise Island. If you watch my introduction video you can see why I'm at with Paradise Island um, so I will be doing videos on those I've completed one restaurant on there and started some others so there's lots to come on that and I'm looking forward to the Alpine Resort that's going to be available um, in the next upgrade when that will be I'm not sure so I will see you in tomorrow's video thanks for watching and also listening to me ramble on bye for now